top story at this hour is about the United States that says it has intelligence confirming the Islamic State's claim to be responsible for the deadly shooting at the Crocus Concert Hall near Moscow. The terror group Islamic State Khorasan took responsibility for the attack in a short statement published by ISIS-affiliated news agency on Telegram. However, it did not provide any evidence to support that claim. This is not the first time the ISIS terrorist organization has been associated with attacks in Russia. Back in 2017, the group was implicated in carrying out attacks at the St. Petersburg metro that killed 15 and injured at least 45. Восстание уже перекрыто. Восстание перекрыто, перекрывают. Восстание перекрыто, перекрывают. Now the Islamic State Khorasan, com commonly termed ISKP, is a branch of ISIS, mainly based in Afghanistan, and it has increasingly focused its attention on Russia since the United States left Afghanistan in 2021. Now, the group was formed in 2015 by members of militant groups, including those from Pakistan and Uzbekistan, and is active in Central Asia and Russia. It carried out twin bombings in January in Iran that killed nearly 100 people. Experts say ISIS-K has become fixated on Russia in recent years, seeing it as complicit in activities that it says oppresses Muslims. Now, ISIS-K saw its membership decline after the Taliban and the United States forces inflicted heavy losses. But the United States sees the group as an ongoing threat. But recently, there were also some uh, plots that European intelligence claims to have disrupted. So they seem to be shifting from being a regional group to doing more um, attacks uh, farther afield whether it's in Moscow or in Europe. So this is a group that always claimed to have ambitions beyond Afghanistan and Pakistan, but now we're starting to see at least some attacks. So one thing, a common phrase in the study of terrorism is propaganda by the deed, that by doing the attack, by showing you're hitting the enemy hard, by um, causing casualties, by all the media attention that results, you're able to recruit people. So in the past, the group has used attacks to try to show that it's the most um, effective group, that it's the one that's active on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm sure their propaganda is you know, taking uh, tremendous advantage of this attack. Hours after Russia blamed Ukraine's involvement in the terror attack, ISIS released a footage proving its involvement. The devastating terror attack killed at least 133 people and injured over 152 civilians. And it comes less than a week after Vladimir Putin won the elections by an overwhelming majority to secure another term in office. Now, Following the attack, the Russian president warned to track down and punish those behind the attack, casting the attackers to be the enemy as quote-unquote international terrorism. Putin said she was ready, in fact, he was ready to work with any state that wanted to defeat it. Russia also added it had arrested all four gunmen suspected of carrying out the shooting massacre. Now, in a public speech, Putin said attackers had sought to escape towards Ukraine. He said preliminary information showed that some people on the Ukrainian side had prepared to let them cross the border from Russia, to which Ukrainian president responded that the Russian president was seeking ways to divert blame for a massacre. Zelensky said Putin should use his own men to fight terrorism at home instead of invading Ukraine. Now, agreeing to the Ukrainian president, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris also rejected Putin's claims of Kyiv's involvement. In a television interview, she said the United States had evidence to back Putin's accusation. Suspending, in fact, suspecting Ukraine's involvement, Russia's retaliation has ramped up airstrikes on Kyiv. 
and this has prompted residents to seek shelter in subway stations as sirens sounded across darkened neighborhoods. Ukraine's Air Force said defense systems destroyed at least 43 Russia-launched air weapons, including 18 missiles and 25 drones. On the other hand, Russia has now taken control of Krasnoy Settlement, also known as Ivaneyske in Ukraine. The region is located in Donetsk. The Russian Defense Ministry said that its army has warded off multiple attacks from the Ukrainian army and has shot down 171 Ukrainian drones in the past 24 hours. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.